Wow, we've had some weather this week. Um, we started off with super high temperatures in the mid 30s and a temperature inversion, which is when you uh, get hot, really, really hot weather higher on the island. So for example, Aria was the warmest place on the island last weekend at 34 degrees. But we also had fog, which is super unusual for Lanzarote. And we woke up one morning to thick fog. It's caused by a very rapid temperature change that causes uh, water vapour from the ocean surrounding the island to create cloud or fog as we would call it in most places. Uh, unusual enough and bad enough to cause 12 aircraft to be diverted to Fuerteventura and Gran Canaria. Um, within a few hours it cleared and, and it turned into a hot and sunny and beautiful day. So those aircraft were able to return. And in the latter part, part of the week it's continued very hot for the time of year, but um, much more pleasant with a little bit of breeze and lovely blue skies. We had a real tragedy last weekend when uh, two people were killed on the LZ1, which is the main road between Taiche and Arieta. Uh, and it was in the area of Mala. It was a head-on crash between a passenger car that was being driven by a 21-year-old local lad and a motorhome being driven by a 40-year-old foreign lady. Uh, the only other passenger involved was a 26-year-old lady who was in the motorhome. She um, was taken to hospital and is still in hospital now, but I gather uh, she's evolving favourably, um, is the latest news we've had on that. But uh, we, we have a lot of crashes on the island, um, but they, they tend to be generally minor ones because uh, speeds are relatively slow here. So it's quite unusual for people to be killed on the roads, and it's been a bit of a shock for the residents of Lanzarote. Now we have the route now for the protest march which takes place on Saturday in Arrecife and uh, the start point is the music kiosk which is at the bottom of Calle Leon y Castillo. It, it continues along the front towards the Cabildo just diverting into a back street in the bit where um, the works are being done on the promenade there back onto the front and then it will finish at, outside the Cabildo which is the parliament building here. It's important to understand that this protest, um, which has been framed as anti-tourism, is not. It's about getting the numbers of tourists coming to the island reduced over the next few years to a more manageable level. And more importantly, it's about um, creating the infrastructure to support a population here that has been growing dramatically over the last 10 years or so. And just a reminder that we would love it if you would subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel here. We're busy trying to grow this channel to make it more successful and we will keep delivering the weekly news from Lanzarote to you. Um, and if you subscribe, you'll, you'll be notified when, uh, when we post the new one every Saturday morning for you to watch. We've had some major water cuts across the island uh, over the last few days, um, particularly on Thursday and Friday when five out of the seven municipalities were affected by water supply cuts. Um, and this was largely caused by a break in the main pipe that goes through Zonzamas, which is an area of Lanzarote close to Arrecife. The water in Aria came back on uh, at around eight o'clock on Friday morning, and uh, it was a bit of a relief to, uh, to have a decent supply once again to the north of the island. Hopefully, it will last a few days. There was a really scary story about a man who fell into uh, a huge water tank in Arrecife. And apparently he was taking photographs of birds and he slipped and fell backwards into this storage tank, which I've seen pictures of it was really quite deep and full of algae and there was no way he could get out. He was in there for five hours. He had to strip all his clothes off to give him some buoyancy. And fortunately, and this is uh, such a piece of luck, someone heard him crying for help after five hours called the police who investigated and they very quickly pulled him out of the water. Um, but I think if it, had been, if it had gone on much longer, he would surely have died. Now the juxtaposition to the um, protest march, which is taking place over the weekend, was news that came in from Lanzarote Airport that they had a record march there with almost 800,000 passengers transiting through the airport in the third month of the year. Now that's 12% up on last year, but it's an astonishing 36% up on the same month 10 years ago. 
So January, February, March has been absolutely massive for tourism in Lanzarote and March was yet another record. One of the things we've always found quite fascinating as we travel the other islands is that when we're in a nice restaurant in, let's say, Tenerife or, uh, or El Hierro, um, we often ask for a recommendation for a good local wine. And they almost always come straight back with, if you want a good wine, you want a Lanzarote wine, which always makes us feel very good, of course, because we're from Lanzarote. Um, but it would be nice occasionally to try some different wines. Uh, the uh, um, tourism gastronomy body here on the islands holds an event every year where they do a wine tasting, a blind tasting of wine um, for all the wines within the Canaries DO, which is the Denominación Orgien. Uh, it's a, it's a, a mark of quality, if you like, for the Canary Islands. And this year, the event's taking place here in Lanzarote, in the Jamios del Agua. And there are going to be 230 different wines from across the islands that will be blind tasted. They come from 60 wineries. And uh, I suspect, as usually happens, Lanzarote wines will do very, very well in the event. So I'll keep you posted on that in next week's news or perhaps the week after. So let's just finish up with a, a bit of weather news for those of you who are coming over uh, during the next week or so. Um, the weather forecasts here are only accurate really about five or six days ahead because we're such a small island in a very big ocean and we're very close to a massive land mass, which is Africa. But the forecast looks excellent for the next five or six days here. We're going to have temperatures in the mid to high 20s, so the range would be 25 to 28 degrees. We're going to have fairly light northwesterly breezes of 15 to 25 kilometers per hour. And the minimum temperature at night is 17 or 18. So even at this time of year, which is, you know, we're not really into summer yet, we're still in spring, um, you'll be perfectly comfortable sitting outside enjoying a drink or a meal in a t short sleeve t-shirt and a pair of shorts if that's what you would like to do. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, join us next week again for the Lanzarote News. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment or a question in comments below because we're always happy to answer your questions for you. Um, and if, if we get a particular um, uh, question being asked over and over again, we'll do a specific video on it. And one of them is all about the ETIAS visa waiver scheme. So we'll be covering that with a video in the not too distant future. So bye for now everyone from Aria in Lanzarote.